Hello gentlemen, this is Claudio Canales recording the homework for the DevOps engineer position for AppTap. The homework is create an Ansible role who deploy a Tomcat server in a machine. So for this example I use Vagrant to create a CentOS version 6, 6 machine. So if you see the background file you can see I will use a CentOS OS version 6 to for this homework. So I will start the virtual machine. This process is a little a little slow, but by the way I will explain the rest of the stuff. I use GitHub to store the homework so you can see all the commits and all the files. I need to improve the readme. So we have the roles. You have the files, handlers, tasks, and temp templates with all the files. For example, this one is the most important because it has all the validations. For example, hard disk, the installation of Java, the creation of the user, download Java, configure the, the server, the users, start the rules of the EP tables, the firewall D, etc. So this file is really important. But this file is important too. So I have so command stored here to start the machine. Why? Because the machine is empty. So I need to install git the beginning. After that, I will I will I will download the, this RPM and install it. This RPM is important to for the next command. Guess is start Ansible. I will start because it it's ready. To start, I need only to do a background SSH. So I'm connected. For example, if you want to see if Tomcat is running in the machine, you can, you can execute this command, but it's empty because the machine is empty. So I need first, I need to install it. After that, the RPM install Ansible and I will clone my project so I have all the, these commands together to do it fast these commands are doing all the necessary to to get the code and execute Ansible, the playbook have, I have created. It is downloaded in Git. It is downloading the the RPM is very fast. It's installing Ansible and all the dependencies necessary for the execution. I could do it that with Ansible, but I didn't uh, mix 
this thing with the with the Tomcat roll. So I am doing manually. Okay, it's ready. So you can see the Tomcat roll. You can see the files. It's the same from GitHub. So I will execute the Ansible play role. This is starting all the validations, downloading the files because Tomcat needs Java and need to install it and it needs to configure all the bars in the environment download some the first stage was the checking it checked a new Ansible version it checked the operating system because it needed to be CentOS check the RAM available and check the space I did all this validation for this homework Installation of Java is the more slow. You can see the steps here. This installing Java. After that, creation the group of the user, download Tonka. Tonka is faster because the files are not so heavy extract and the first stage was checking the version Ansible I did that this because I don't know I don't want an old version of Ansible but I don't know I don't want a very new version because it, it is changing very fast so it's a validation for the operating system I need more than 256 megabyte of RAM available. This one was very difficult. I got a particular number. For example, I have this. This percentage I'm taking. So, For example, in my virtual machine is empty, so my space use is four. So after that, it I need to process this result because I need to take the number, but I need to cut the the break lines, and I I have to cut the spaces. But this variable in Ansible is stored as a string. So I need to convert it to int. So it, it is checking. If my user space is more than 90, it compare and it said insufficient hard disk. So I stop the installation. But in my case is 4%, so it continue. So Ansible is finished. The Java installation, it is installing Tomcat. It's done, it's faster. It's restarting Tomcat with the new configuration. Restarting IP tables too, and all the the tasks are over and okay. So I can see the process. I can do a 
LTS and grep Tomcat. And you can see the process running. But if you want to see what is the content, you can perform a curl. But it will be it will show me a bad result. Refuse it. Why? Because I'm using the port 88. And it's okay. It's and it shows the website. So it's working. For example, I will change something and you can you can see the validations working. For example, this is the important file. And I will to ask I want two gigabyte available of RAM. This is a virtual machine, so it's not very powerful. So I will execute the playbook again. And it showed me the mistake, insufficient RAM. So I will correct this data. For example, the space. I will demand only 1% use. It's very, it's very low. I can show you. You can see I have only 4% use, but I am asking for 1%. So what will happen? And you can see insufficient hard disk.